Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. Join me as we uncover unique energy solutions across Canada. Every week, we'll bring you the stories of people in businesses and communities who are changing the way we power this country. Today, we're in Toronto, Ontario at Exhibition Place. We're here to find out how Toronto got the very first urban wind turbine in North America. We're also here to find out how that led to Ontario getting a Green Energy Act which is helping folks all over Ontario install green energy. Visible to hundreds of thousands of commuters and park goers every day, the Exhibition Place wind turbine is a daily reminder of the power of green energy in Ontario. Developed by the Trek Renewable Energy Cooperative, this single 600 kilowatt wind turbine just might be the butterfly that flapped its wings and created a hurricane of renewable energy development in Ontario. Hi, my name is Judith Lipp. I'm the executive director of the Trek Renewable Energy Cooperative. And what is Trek, Judith? Trek is a not-for-profit cooperative that builds and incubates renewable energy cooperatives and we also educate the Ontario public about renewable energy, the cooperative model and generally about the science and technology of renewable energy. So what, what was the thinking behind setting up a really big turbine in downtown Toronto? The motivation behind the turbine was to find a location that was highly visible. It was built at a time when wind energy was really not on anybody's radar in Canada. It was well known and established in Europe. Uh, the folks at Formtrek really wanted a site that would act as a demonstration, act as a, uh, an icon, if you will, for the green energy movement. Deb Doncaster was involved with Trek early on. Now the executive director of the Community Power Fund, she says there was no grand scheme to push renewable energy throughout the province, at least not in the beginning. You know, I don't know that there was a big vision uh, beyond sort of bringing renewable energy technologies into the Ontario marketplace and allowing for diverse forms of ownership and community ownership of, of renewable energy. But at that point in time, we hadn't envisioned a feed-in tariff program. We hadn't envisioned a Green Energy Act for Ontario. Is really just, let's introduce windmills and let's introduce the notion of community ownership. Really, and so what was the turning point where you thought, oh, well, this could actually be <laughs> moving towards something here? Well, I guess uh, we became more and more aware of what was going on in other jurisdictions in the world. We found out about, uh, you know, the fact that in Germany, 50% of the 32,000 megawatts of installed capacity is owned by the residents of Germany. Uh, Denmark, 35%. So we started looking to other jurisdictions to figure out where else is this happening and how, how is it happening on such a large scale such that we could turn this windmill, waterfront windmill project of community-owned wind into something much bigger. This Trek co-op model, which was also featured in our episode on Dawson Creek, spawned numerous spin-offs and organizations. So there is a close relative though of Trek that is doing reasonably well. What is that organization called uh, and what are the, they doing? The, there is a group called SolarShare um, and SolarShare is a, as a Trek derivative where they are trying to um, develop a number of projects that are owned by the SolarShare Cooperative Corporation. So they've now got um, three projects under their portfolio and they're trying to acquire about 10 million dollars of uh, assets of solar projects by the end of 2013 that would be owned by the cooperative which uh, will comprise hundreds if not thousands of Ontario residents in the ownership of these various solar installations across the province. So how far can this go the Green Energy Act and, and Ontario with this whole uh, green energy thing? Uh, it can go as far as Ontario wants it to go. I mean, we're certainly pushing for it to go uh, as far as possible. I mean, we believe that uh, Ontario can be 100% renewable. Uh, and to me, until uh, we achieve at least, I'd say, 50% of the supply mix coming from renewable energy, uh, then I think we can actually say that we are the lead in North America in terms of installed capacity, amount of community ownership, uh, and jobs that are, are being created by, by the policy framework. Like a hurricane caused by a butterfly flapping its wings a continent away, a single wind turbine started a chain of events that led to the fastest growing renewable energy regime in North America. For photo galleries, blogs and much more, head on over to greenenergyfutures.ca. We'd also love to hear from you on Twitter and Facebook. I'm David Dodge.